Hello and welcome everyone to Fate Extra. Uh, gonna record this slightly earlier because I'm busy Saturday and I'm not gonna have time to really record. So I figured I'd go ahead and record. That being said, I still don't have a whole lot of time today, so we're gonna see how far we get. Um, we'll go and get started instead of me just blabbing my mouth here. So we're on day six. Um, we it's very possible we finish this game this recording session. Uh, it honestly is gonna depend on how long it's gonna take for us to straight up destroy Gawain. Or him destroy us. That that's gonna be the thing. Uh, so we'll 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 get to that bridge then when we cross it. I'll probably get like another level or so. That's probably all we'll need. And then maybe we'll do the epilogue. Uh, we'll we'll see if I've got time for it. Hakano, I'm glad that yesterday went so well. I trust you did what you needed to. Rena is waiting for me in her usual spawn. Her pale skin gleams white in the gentle beaming light. Yesterday we struck a strong blow against Gawain, so it's possible to be positive about the finals. Tomorrow's the seventh and final elimination battle. I never thought I'd be standing on equal grounds with Leo and Gawain. But thanks to Ren, it's a reality. Those words of thanks are on my mind as I look at Ren. Oh, what? Hey, is there something on my face? Ren frantically wipes her hand over her face. It looks so funny that I burst out laughing. <laughs> and when I do, Ren slaps me. Oh, no, she didn't slap me. What are you looking, uh, laughing at, you idiot? And to think, I figured you'd be seriously concerned here about what Leo said. I spent time wondering if Leo's philosophy had merit. However, just as Ren said before, it is not as if what he says is, must absolutely be true. I realized that after fighting him as strong as he is, he's missing something critical. That's why I can surely win against Leo. That missing critical part? Protagonist powers. I'm glad you think so, but talk is cheap. You better make good on your word. Ren says this and smiles. Seeing that smile reinvigorates me to win and to return to her, no matter what. That and do you remember what I said before about finding a way to get out? The odds are 50-50 as, as to if that will happen or not. And that's only if things go well. Once the Holy Grail War is over, promise me that you'll contact me. I don't care how or from where. Uh, does your phone get reception if I'm living on the moon? This is the address I'm using for the war. I won't change it for three days. Embarrassment colors Ren's face as she sends her email address to my terminal. But why? Ignoring that fact, or ignoring the fact that I still have to defeat Leo, I'm still nothing but random bits of data. Isn't it kind of, well, ridiculous to treat someone like me as a real human being? You're an idiot. I've already told you that it doesn't matter to me. Clone or copy, it doesn't matter. You are you, regardless of where you came from or how you came to be. You're soft-hearted and sentimental, and it's a reminder of how people really should be. No, it's not ridiculous. You are alive, so start thinking about life after the Holy Grail. Defeating Leo will bring the wrath of the Harway family down on you. Doesn't that scare you at all? Nah, because I know what happens. I go live on the moon, yo. Oh, I... Never thought about that. Living on the moon? It's pretty cool. You know, got, got some moon rocks. If the Western Plurocrats target someone, they'd be as good as dead outside of the Holy Grail War. Right? Don't worry. I'll watch over you. After all, I'm pretty much in the same boat as you. Don't be afraid to depend on me once all this is over. I'll protect you no matter what. I tilt my head in puzzlement. Not only is she sure I'll beat Leo, she's making plans for it afterwards. I think she's getting way too ahead of herself. What? Isn't it obvious? Or isn't it the obvious thing to do? And wipe that oh, woe is me look off your face. Helping another person is a big deal, Rod. And of course you had to go and just do that. To help another person is to take a certain amount of responsibility for their life. Remember it, that it's much harder to try to keep one alive than to stand by and watch them die. That's a fair point. It is harder to keep someone alive instead of, you know, stabbing them or whatnot. Whatever you're into, Ren. Whatever you're into. I see. Such an act couldn't be done without com uh, compassion. And to save a life is to share in it. Alright. All I can do now is prepare and face what comes. I only get this to chance once in a life. Though saving a life is a great responsibility. It's far better to save a life than to take one. That's right. And that's what I'll do everything I can to help you. It's all I can do right now. Ren then turns away and while continuing to lean, or continue to mumbling to herself. That's right. 
I may not have anywhere to go after this, but I swear I'll return to the spot. And... And do nothing. The sky is going dark. I'm nervous that I've forgotten something. Making everything that I've done so far be for naught. It's the final scene, Praetor. Are you sure you haven't forgotten to glean the cipher keys or perform an alteration of the soul? Hearing familiar words from my servant calms me. I'd really like to save myself the embarrassment of losing by default in the finals, just in case I should check the cipher key display on my terminal. Also, I need to finish all my other preparations today. Visiting the commissary, performing an alteration of the soul, training in the arena, it's all necessary. I should do everything I need to. I can't be too careful either. True story, yo. Um, so, speaking of that, uh, let's see, status, uh, we've got three skill points, we're close to leveling up again, so we definitely want to do that, um, my tactic for Gawain is to bash him in the face, a lot, that's what I'm hopefully, that's what hopefully is gonna happen, we'll see if that holds true or not. Yep. Alrighty. Okie dokie, Saber. Day six. So, I've been kind of thinking about it. So, there is a new game plus in this. I don't know if I'm going to do it right away. Uh, obviously, because I'll have to rebeat it. I was going to look and see if there was like a code that would just let me unlock it from this point. Uh, I haven't found anything, but you never know. Um, if I do find something, I'll definitely let everyone know on Twitter. Or I'll post it on Twitter. Um, that being said... Uh, if, for whatever reason I do decide to do the New Game Plus, I'll probably only do the bonus dungeon. Um, and what I'll probably end up doing is I'll actually probably just stream it. Uh, just have one long stream of doing that. Uh, mainly because I don't think it merits a full, like, week's worth of recording for it. Although maybe it does, I don't know how hard the extra dungeon is. Tomorrow your fate will be decided. In other words, today is your last day to prepare. Make sure you do everything in your power to prepare for your final confrontation. It's the multimedia room. Still can't do anything. Sweet. Useless, that multimedia room. Useless. So, but yeah. Um, just uh, while we're walking around school here and while I'm trying to remember... Uh, well, here's a, a scene, I suppose. Further down the hallway, the sound of an argument can be clearly heard. In this school, where there are so few people left, I can only believe the owner of that voice to be Ren. Well, the fact that it consists of, like, Ren, Sharon Tips, other chick... Leo, Kotamine, and Issei, you don't have a lot of options to go for. Speaking of, you know, like, there's only three women, but... Oh, I guess BB's here, too. Eh. And the other voice can only belong to Leo. Legitimate masters, huh? So any irregularities are meaningless to you? On the contrary, I'm relieved that you somehow managed to survive. Tragically, for me, anyway. Whether I get to live or die hasn't been decided just yet. Whoever wins the Holy Grail and gets to return home is the sole survivor. That's the rule. But my life doesn't matter. You're the one who still has something to lose. If you lose in the final match, the Haraway family will lose their heir. Pretty big blow, hmm? True, but I'm going to win. It's not bravado or a lie. Leo believes he's speaking the truth. And it's definitely not in blind faith. But he has judged himself and he doesn't find himself lacking. Trust a Haraway to be so arrogant. The same Haraway's choking the world into oblivion with that iron fist. Man, Ren, laying it down to him hard. Choking into oblivion? Tosaka, your complaint is creative. Still, no, you look tired. Now is not the time for extended conversation, I'm afraid. With that said, I bid you a good day. See you, Leo. Leo makes a vague gesture towards Ren, while at the same time acknowledging me with a smile. Pocono, I look forward to finally meeting you in the field of battle. I'm pretty sure every time Leo has came, like, he's had a voice line, I've gave him a different voice. Oh, or maybe it's the same voice, because I can do, like, all three of them. I noticed he leaves it, uh, I noticed as he leaves that his smile never once slipped. If I was still the same person I was before, his words would have badly shaken me. But everything is different now. Now, I have a purpose. And a reason to fight for the Holy Grail. That is why uh, my path diverges from Leo's. But only the Holy Grail knows which is the correct one. Or which the correct one is. I can't read. So yeah, um, I'm actually recording this 
on a Thursday instead of Saturday because, like I said earlier, I have something to do Saturday. Um, so I've been off work. I got off work, and I haven't even ate yet. I wanted to hurry up and get this recorded. So excuse me if I mispronounce words, which that's nothing new for the course. Uh, you want to know why the Holy Grail invited masters to the Seraph and give them servants? Find out for yourself after you win the final elimination battle and stand before the Holy Grail. Thanks, Sharon Tips. I have nothing left to teach you. You haven't taught me anything. You've already the knowledge and fortitude to forge your own path. Useless. Useless Sharon Tips 2.0. Unless that one was Sharon Tips, I get him confused. Alright. That's not how you go down. Tiger! Were you able to get... Um... <clears throat> Were you able to get, at this time, the object that grants wishes? Tiger Thermis! Yes, this is my precious. Take this plushie in return. No, I insist that you have it. Tiger stuffed animal? I don't want your stuffed animal. Alright. I guess we'll go to the dun uh, the um, arena and gr get one level, because that's all we're going to do. Today's the last full day of preparation before the main event, isn't it? Tomorrow will be the last day, and you'll be able to buy items. So be sure to stock up then. And hell, money conquers all. Um, well, uh, actually, before I buy those, um, significant amount of service HP, I mean, might as well, right? I'll buy like 17 of them. That way we still have some money. I don't know what we'll use that money for. But, you know. Because I don't see me buying any formal wear. So, there is that. Um, we'll go to the commissary. That's... No, I didn't mean to go to the commissary. No. No. Chapel. I don't know why I thought commissary. Like I said, my brain's like scattered. Alkaline battery. Yes, I want to do an alteration. Give me the strength. Yeah, I know it wasn't enough. Nope, we're good. We're, we're good. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's all that. Alright, well, I guess we'll go to the dungeon. Dungeon, the arena. I'll save beforehand, just in case. Actually, I, I, I want to see if we can see the plushie real quick and we'll save here then we'll go to the arena but yeah uh, these episodes might be cut short just because I don't know how long it's gonna take also I don't see a plushie oh I see the plushie it's literally a tiger plushie okay <laughs> alright save now we grind just to get one more level like I said we probably could beat Gawain as we are uh, but we're, we're close to another level but, um, back to what I was saying earlier, uh, hunting quests are going on in Fate Grand Order, and I have been farming those a lot. <laughs> um, a very, very much so a lot. Uh, well, I say it has. It's only been two days, but yesterday I ended up farming a ton. Um, the amount of bones I got was ridiculous. But it was all worth it. Man, wouldn't it be something if there was, like, no enemies here? Also, I don't even know what we've got equipped. Oh, that's right. The Seer's Crystal Ball. The thing that I probably should have used a while back and didn't. <laughs> um, I still am trying to figure out what I want to use against Gawain. Uh, honestly, I definitely want to keep the Scarlet Formal Wear because of the heal. Um, but I don't know what other Mystic Code I should use. And because I'm recording this before the final episode that you guys will see comes out, um, I can't impart. I can't get your guys' imparting wisdom. Get out of here. Oh, that might be a little more experienced than what I thought it was. Although I'm pretty sure there is a uh, one of those like Nephilims or something. So if we take that thing out, that's like 2,000 experience right there.
get out of here. But yeah, uh, hunting quests are great. Um, tomorrow will be fangs, and I'm going to farm those like crazy too. I actually, today was a good day to record also because it's snake eyes, and I've already got like 500 of the things. Uh, actually, over that. So I didn't really feel like I needed any. Uh, but the rest of the week, it's going to suck because I can't remember what Saturday is, but I'm pretty sure it's a map that I really, really need. I'm not going to be able to farm nearly as much of it as I want. Also, I didn't think about this, but the time you guys see this video, uh, Pokemon Clover should be out with Def. So, if you haven't seen it already, and you're not uh, under the age of 18, and you have uh, humor that can withstand uh, 30 jokes and stuff, uh, you definitely want to check it out. So many things here. So many things. But, uh, yeah. We recorded that. There's four episodes already recorded. Um, but I, I, it's been really fun recording with that. And the game is fun itself. Uh, so I can't wait to record more um, on it. But yeah, I, uh, I'm i hopefully... I don't know if it's going to be like a weekly series or not. Pretty sure I said that in the video. If uh, I'm going to try to get one like every Saturday though. I'm going to try, but if there isn't one then oh well. Actually, you know what? Get out of here, you. Get rid of the fortress. Breeding enemy info. Oh, yeah, those guys. Those are what we needed. Come here, you door. This place is a maze. I hate this part. <laughs> this part's terrible. Just make it one big square or something. Wow. Uh, guard attack. Attack and hang. Get out of here. So, but yeah, my goal is we do, uh, depending on how, uh, the epilogue goes, uh, if we take out, uh, Gawain pretty quickly, we should be okay. But yeah, I have no idea how hard he's gonna be. I imagine Gawain's gonna be very difficult. And get wrecked. Oh, we didn't win. Curse you. Well, there's another one right here. Luckily enough, there is no shortage of enemies. So, I was really hoping that guy would give us a little bit of a... A little level there. But he didn't. Unfortunately for this guy, he is absolutely going to die. We speed up and yeah I just want to speed up through these spots because you guys have seen these hundreds, hundreds of times. level up 38 and yeah we did we kind of cleared out this area return now leaving campus blah 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 yep we're leaving we're good if we need to grind then I guess we'll grind Well then, tonight is our last night together. Much has happened since you chose me as your servant. When I think back on it, it was wonderful, marvelous. Our story has a magnificent arc to it. One that my former self would adore. No, what gloomy talk. I can't abide by that. Let us focus on the grand finale. Tomorrow, I will swing my sword in a blaze of glory for you. Let us present a grand finale that will dazzle all who see. Command me passionately until I am spent. That's phrasing. So, no keywords. Save your progress. We'll save up here. Days remaining. Zero. Alright. You're facing the final curtain of the elimination battle. Or final elimination battle. How do you feel, master? My answer's obvious, Kodamine, you weirdo. Why even bother asking? I'm here because I've accumulated victories and crushed dreams. 
Because of the cost to others, I can't imagine failure. Leo or myself, the one whose wish the Holy Grail will grant will be chosen today. Ah, yes. There was a certain young master who entered this tournament and has grown significantly. At first, this master appeared to be a sacrificial lamb, but instead fought on those wobbly legs. I may be an agent of the system, but your fight rouses my interest. Is your case a happy accident or a genuine miracle in hundreds, thousands of years of masters? How perverse for this AI to be based on a clergyman. Now go, show me the true strength of your determination and desire. I'll wait on the first floor. Finished, Father Konamine departs. The elimination battle is here, and I'm about to face my strongest opponent yet. I'll make some final preparations. That means getting outfitted at the commissary and sorting out information in my room. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. Chapel. All right, alkaline battery. It's our final time together. We didn't even get at the EX, but that's okay. Man, it takes forever to do the alterations. <laughs> yeah. Nope, we're good. Good as we're gonna get. All right. Second floor. At least this time we'll be able to see his stuff because we'll have a matrix of lead. Presided, I don't screw this up. Um. Speak. Okay. Organize our information. The day has finally arrived. The day of the final battle. The way to the Holy Grail will open once this last fight is over. It's down to Leo and me. Whose wish will be granted? I have no intention of falling now, but today is the day where our fates will be decided. Before the elimination battle begins, I should go through all the information I've accumulated. First off, the name of Leo's servant. I'd better make sure I have his name right before I do anything else. <laughs> Gawain, Mordred Lancelot. Gawain! The servant in burnished white armor, his name was given as Gawain. A knight of great loyalty linked to the legend of the round table, who guards Leo with tireless vigilance. I remember the first time we crossed swords in the arena. As per his story, his strength is legendary, wielding a sword that shines like the sun. He barred my way with unshakable resolve. The name of his sword is... The Sword of Absolute Victory, the, sword of, uh, the Resurrected Sword of Victory, the Talisman of Broken Commandments. Um... I can't remember if it's the sort of actual resu uh, the resurrected sort of victory or the sort of the absolute victory. I feel like absolute victory is caliber. Um, uh, um, well, I'll tell you what we'll do here, just to make sure. Uh, right, also called Galante. Okay, so it was the resurrected. That's what I thought. I was about to say, the absolute victory, I'm pretty sure, was either Excalibur or Calibur, one of the two. Also called Galante, it is the sister sword of Excalibur, and a weapon of great power when used by Gawain. At first, there was no way I could meet the stroke of his sword infused with the sun's heat. Now, the attribute that made Gawain one of the mightiest of the knights was his unique constitution. When the sun was in the sky, all of his abilities were amplified to a significant degree. His noble phantasm alone makes him immensely powerful, but with this attribute, he was almost invincible. What was the name of that ability? The numeral of six. It's numeral of the saint and the reckoning of victories. Right, it was numeral of the saint. The ability that ties his powers to the sun is it's most powerful when the clock strikes noon. Matrix level E. Good thing I didn't mess that up. Man, Gwen looks a lot skinnier here. But by hacking into the arena and cutting off his lot, I was not only able to wound him, but also cripple his ability to some degree. All that is to be done now is to see how close Saber can get to Leo. I've made it all this way. Just one more. Just one more victory and then I can get my wish granted by the Holy Grail. The answer that I sought throughout this fight. Save. Save. All right, well, we're gonna go stomp Gawain in the face here in a second. Leave. I say we're gonna stomp him in the face. It's very possible we don't and we get bodied here. Oh, well, we also got some stuff. Oops. Actually, while I'm here, um, I think what I'm going to do, what would be a better idea, actually, is uh, Stafford Vuk, so that way I can heal Saber's uh, MP if I need to. Um, 
Uh, character background. One of the major knights mentioned in Arthurian legend and often thought to be King Arthur's nephew. A knight said to be the equal of Sir Lancelot. Gawain was frequently at odds with Lancelot due to his slaying of both of Gawain's brothers. Although pure of heart and loyal beyond question, it was Gawain's all-consuming hatred that not only led him to being stripped of his knighthood, but also led the downfall of King Arthur himself. Although his hostility inevitably led to his death at the hands of Sir Lancelot, he realized that it was his own lack of virtue that led to Sir Lancelot's betrayal and the defeat of King Arthur at the Battle of Comlon Hill. Up until his death, Sir Gawain was considered a paragon of knighthood, chivalrous, loyal, and gallant. Even as King Arthur became a legend, Gawain was a constant to the stay in the background. Or content, or was content to stay in the background. Blah, I can't read. Doing, uh, doing his duty regardless of whether his efforts were acknowledged or not. In reward for his gallantry and loyalty to Arthur, as well as the eventual forgiveness of Sir Lancelot, Gawain was resurrected as a heroic spirit and freed from the sins of his past has once again reclaimed his role as the Knight of the Sun. Pretty cool stuff, Gawain. Pretty cool. Alright, that being said, we're good on items. Um, here, uh, it's the last day, so... I don't know why I'm going that way, because that's to the arena. Um, and one last save here. I've been awaiting your arrival. Are you ready? If it is your wish, I will open the way to the Colosseum. Now please, present the final cipher keys. And the Colosseum. So, young master, who will have their wish granted? You or the scion of the Haraway family? I will be here waiting for the one who successfully manages to reach the Holy Grail.